watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Check yourself. Season 8. You'll be watching us watch the show for the very first time. You'll be getting our natural and honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see is Mimi not getting it, trying to get this bitch advice yet again. I have to see this line that Pooh is launching right now. I don't know if, if Kendra will wear eyelashes three inches long, but you know, on a freaky night it might work. Mimi, I'm starting to think you're a two-time friend. Which side are you on, boo-boo? Pick a side. Hey, girl, you made it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, yes, girl. What so are my, we doing? I know, my new makeup line. I have ladybug eyelashes and FaceTime makeup. Because you know, a lot of people be asking me, like, when we go out, like, girl, who do your eyeshadow? Oh, yeah? That's what they be asking you, Charlotte. <laughs> they be asking you about your eyeshadow. Nobody ask you who do your eyeshadow. <laughs> so I came up with the stick on eyeshadow with the uh, lip plumper. Hold on, all the things you can stick on, they done came up with stick on eyeshadow? Damn. Okay. Because I'm known for having a duck Yes, lip. you are. <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> That's what you need to come out with next. Some lipstick for them lips. Because you got some lips. Motherfucker. Oh, God. So what's been going on? I got so much bull going on with Stevie and Ty. Oh, my oh. God. Like. What? So I went and met with Stevie and Faith, right? Uh -huh. And it was a great conversation. I got a lot of shit off my chest. Do not say nothing about shit on your chest on your mind. Well, you can't say that kind of stuff around pool, because I'm telling you, boy, everybody gonna know, oh, you know Mimi got shit on her mind. I, pff, me and my husband was right there and shit got on her mind. And so afterwards, we took a picture together. When I say Ty, I lost it. Why are you telling this girl your business? So where has been up since Trinidad? Girl, I just been trying to get things back on track, you know. Like, I don't even know what the problem is. The problem is, your lip don't know which way it wanna go. It's like, bitch, you taking me over here, but I'm over here. I'll tell you what the problem is. People take a vacation to get away from the bull You know what I'm saying? Well, when you came to Trinidad, you brought a bag full of bull You remember you threw it on the table? I'll tell you the problem. They're like, you know, we ain't with this bitch, cause if she would do this to one of her close friends, then what would she do to us? We hit the field goal! Mimi, you hit it. If you would tell something that big about your friend, what in the hell would you tell so small about other things? At the end of the day, you could still be cordial and- Hell no, nah, ain't no cordial, cuz. Hey man, you pull some shit out on me, cuz, that I don't on, cuz. I'm gonna be like, hey, Jack, you got, hey, you gotta get up out of here. Before we go, we gonna be a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just be nice, cause ain't nobody with you and did nothing to you. Oh, see, I told you. The lip, she did this, and the lip went over here. I'm so, she did, hmm? and the lip went, Poo. the lip don't agree with your face. Even your lips don't wanna be friends with you. They wanna hate on me, and. Ain't nobody got no reason to hate on you. You about to hate on your damn self, bitch. You think people don't hear all the stuff you say about them behind their back, girl? Shut up and say all this because of listening to Carly. Why is my name still in your mouth? You know what? We're gonna do a drinking game. So every time she says my name, you take a shot, I'm gonna take a shot, okay? And just, you know, it's just going left. You got to, I know, like, can't nobody cool off <laughs> if you spitting fire 24 seven. I know. I don't know if it's me, or as it appears that every time I look up, Mimi and Pooh are having these one-off conversations. You know, I would, I would, I would like to see them two uh, on the shower. Not, not like me see them on the shower. I mean, they just, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a good sequel. Maybe I shouldn't say that. The next thing you're about to see is Jack is interviewing escorts for his salon. What do you think you would bring to my establishment? I mean, I specialize in color. Oh, so, really? Yes. Color? Yes. My grandmother was a licensed cosmetologist. Okay. But you're so not. I'm not, no. Baby, your, your grandma, this ain't got nothing to do with your grandma. I mean, all due respect, I'm just saying. What what, what credentials do you, you have under your social security number, under your name? So what are you good at? What's your, like, what's your thing, thing, what you do do? What you mean? What are you good at? I'm good at everything I touch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Already she fired. Already I ain't even got hired. What you talking about you touching? What?
what am I watching? Is this a, are you interviewing escorts? In the salon. In and out of a salon. I mean, I, every time I see this girl, now I've seen her. Now, now what's crazy is, she reminds me of a high version of Cena. I told her that when I looked, I said, yeah, you look like a high version of a, yeah, anyway, yeah, what, why you? How much experience do you have? Um, experience Experience, experience managing the salon. Managing the salon? Mm -hmm. I have over about five years. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool. I know you can't do nothing but laugh because I'm trying to figure out what job are these girls coming to get? Are you all coming to get a job in the beauty salon business? Or are you coming to get a job in the whole business? Thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. Uh huh. You better not f hire her, Jock. She is out of here. She has to go. What's up, man? What's up, my brother? <laughs> hey, man, you never That's seen not, so amazing, not, man. No, I'm What's holding up? interviews right now. I'm just, you know, taking good use of what my time and space. For? for the salon? Just say a salon interview with Man, you oh, saw I, what she had on. Well, I didn't like know she was a go-go dancer. Well, you know, so look, I'm just gonna let you know. I ain't interviewing nobody at the salon right now because me and Saron ain't on the same page. And I just would like to see who I'm dealing with before they're in her presence. You know what I'm saying? Shorty kind of crazy. I heard it on the phone that day. You got you a hothead. I just want to have my own people who I think are qualified. That's all. That. And so you're saying that the people that you just interviewed for your escort salon is qualified? That's why you call it echelon? Because it's an escort salon. OK, I get it. I get it. You can't judge a book by its cover. So you can't judge a get, book by its fishnets. You're right, Jock. You can't judge a book by its cover. But that girl who just left out of there, I think her book go with her cover. Engaged and you interviewing, that's not going to work. Seriously. OK, see what I'm saying, Kirk? I think you've learned your lesson now. I'm where I'm at with my <laughs> Like I told y'all, bro, I'm going to get married. No. I'm going to get married. How is it going with your baby mamas accepting that you're getting married? What do you mean, Kirk? How's it going with the baby mama accepting that he's getting married? She got to accept it. This man has moved on to Kendra. Hopefully, she's moved on to whoever he is, OK? You told him? No, he didn't tell him that, he, that he's getting married. You right. got problems. He Thanks. failed to leave out that. Nah, nah, he couldn't have told him, because then that when everybody want to go hard on the child's pole. Is, is that a, does, I, I thought you and Kendra was getting married. I guess she's marrying all your baby mamas, too. <laughs> Thank God I'm out of that. So how you think they're going to take it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's scared. Are you gonna be able to see your kids? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that <laughs> changes. <laughs> I'm just asking. But women, why do we do that? Why do we get mad at the d and then keep the d away from the kids? What's wrong with y'all? Come and get him now. I need a break. Go get him. My kids are my priority one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Not the kids' mothers, okay? Period. How they put the, put the T on the end of the period? Period. Period. How did the um, sit down go with wifey and Jasmine? Rashida ain't say nothing about it. That's never good. She said a little bit. She was like, yeah, I talked to her, but she ain't really break down the breakdown. Was you scared, though? Tell the truth. Oh, was you scared? Nah. You know what? You should be scared. Why should you be scared? Because Rashida has friends like me. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite cousin, Young Jock. And like most of the world, you want more of ATL in your life. You know, like more of love and hip-hop ATL. Just make sure you log on or just go to YouTube and subscribe to VH1 on the YouTube channel. The VH1 YouTube channel. It's that, it's, it's that simple. Keep it locked. Tune in. All right?